Oh yeah, you've been messing around. You pregnant. What up, what up, what up? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Fab community, I don't want to hear it. My haircut is Saturday morning. Let's hope she does it right. I'm thinking about going for a mohawk. Haven't really got comfortable with the black yet. But we're going to make it do what it do. Team 50, coming up. This video is about me trying to determine if what just happened is going to ruin my relationship. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, come right back. I love you, Brody. I love you, Brody. Know why you do that shit? Uh, uh, won't post for no pictures, not that type of nigga. Just turn on the camera. All right, Fabulous. Fabulous. Fabulous community. I am back. I. I'm getting ready to head out. Um, I've realized the only way I'm gonna get these videos recorded is if I try to multitask. Last night, my plan was to do it at the laundromat, but this lady came up to me and started praying with me and for me, and it was amazing. She invited me to her home. She has a prayer room, but I did not go that day. Then I was supposed to go to Walmart, but I was done peopling, so... I just finished cleaning my apartment because my boy comes tomorrow. That's not the reason I clean. Why am I saying it like that? I always clean. But I have to do things strategically uh, on Friday because when I get boy, I can't, clearly cannot get nothing done. I barely eat or use the bathroom because I be so hands-on with my baby. And I love every minute of it. Please know I'm not complaining. But um, some of you may know and some of you may not know that I will be starting a new job on um, the 30th. And that job will take me away from my four-day work week. I'm trying to not have to hold the camera, but really wasn't trying to. Thousand years later. All right, I had to try to relocate for some better lighting and a place to put the phone. But anyway, what I was trying to say was when I come back from my um, birthday trip in New Orleans, I'll be starting a new job, and that job will be putting me back to a five-day work week, not a four. So I've really been trying to discipline myself to get things done throughout the week. That does not happen <laughs> yet, but we will see what happens because I don't want to have it to where I'm getting my grandbaby late or trying to do more stuff with him while he's here when I just really want to dedicate that time to him. So, um, this video is about, um, Oh, sh Here we go again. My cycle. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> um, I've spoken about it before on this platform that I do have cystic fibroids. The fibroids were pretty big. Um, my OBGYN did not want to do the hysterectomy because my blood sugars were not controlled. And when you have diabetes, it kind of prolongs the healing process. And she was afraid that that may open me up for an infection. She also pointed out the fact that at my age, which then was probably like 46 or something, I don't know. I would be close to menopause, so she put me on a hormone med, not birth control, because me being a heavy smoker, that, that increases the stroke risk. So she put me on a hormone that was supposed to help jumpstart me into menopause. Well, like I said, that was about four years ago, and I ain't hit menopause yet. But there was a period of time from when I left Madison probably before I left Madison, to now that I did not have the hormone medication because it was so expensive out of pocket. So I started back taking the medication like maybe a month ago. 
And when I first got on it, I had a cycle for, I feel like three weeks. Like I was thinking I was hemorrhaging. I was nervous. My girlfriend was nervous. She was actually like, maybe you should stop it. I'm like, no, because the pain, the pain, the pain. And y'all want to know something so crazy. <laughs> when I start, she feels my pain. When she starts, I feel her pain. It's like we be on together, even if we're not on together. And I know that if we live closer, our cycles probably would mesh up like that. But it's been so freaking stressful for us and draining because if I'm on for two or three weeks and then she come on, basically, y'all, we was on for like six months. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> six weeks straight and it was getting to the both of us so this time around um she was starting to spot and feel like her cycle was coming well i was feeling pain so i thought my cycle was coming and um as of this moment my cycle has not come um, as far as being sexually active, that has not happened. You guys know I would not sleep with a man unless it was rape or abuse. So then we started to contribute it to the fact that maybe the North Indian is working. So I know that if it were her <laughs> that went this long without a period, I would be like, oh yeah, you've been messing around. You pregnant. That's the way my generalized anxiety figures. But I know that she know that that could never be me. But I was like, hmm, if I don't come home this month, will she leave me? <laughs> That's crazy, right? Anxiety. So I would love to think that the North Indian is North Indian. However, I still have the pain. I still have the irritability. But if I remember back to when I used to take it consistently before, it was the same kind of thing. Some months I may get a little spotting, some months I didn't get anything at all, just some pain and irritation. And the pain usually was a lot less. I think I'm going through severe pain because, again, I'm experiencing part of her cycle. Like, let's get over this, please, okay? So, I don't have a cycle, but I'm also not single. Hallelujah. Like, some, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell a friend to tell a friend. I got another video for you guys dropping soon, and then I probably will pause on the content until we hit New Orleans. Well, I'll record me like parking or getting out of the car. Um, I'm gonna park at the airport. I just realized I need to leave my house at like four in the morning because I'm flying out of Detroit. That's gonna be rough. I don't like driving in the dark and Let's just hope that the highway is well lit. I can't remember as many times I've been back before. Um, so that's how that going. But yeah, more content coming soon. Hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober. I see a lot of bigger content creators that do this content full time that haven't even really been going hard for Vlogtober. So I'm apologizing, but then not so much because as we know, nobody watch my full videos anyway. Y'all be on them shorts, the shorts, the shorts, the shorts. Well... I'll see if I can give you a couple more shorts today, too. I go get my hair cut in the morning. If she do me right, like I'm praying she do, I might come through with a little short, and then it's going to be time for baby boy. Once I get KJ on Saturday, I usually drop him off anywhere between 1 and 3, I guess, um, on Sunday. And then my stuff is supposed to be coming here um, from the storage in Rockford on Sunday evening, so... I'll finally be getting all that stuff, but it's been hard because I want to order my bed. I want to order my sofa. I want to order my new TV stand. Like I want to order my stuff, but I also want to have a good time in New Orleans. And I already know because this is the woman she is. She got everything taken care of in her mind. But if she think I'm not going to get there and spoil her too, when it was her birthday, she gave me two gifts. One I didn't even expect and it allowed me to get to see my baby boy for Easter. So... That's the video. 
Namaste. I love you, Robbie. I love you, Robbie. No, why you do that shit? Uh, uh, won't post for no pictures, not that type of nigga Just turn on the cam, boy